What's good, y'all? Today I'm doing something new, new. Ha 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 ha. This year I wanted to review a lot of the of my uh, animated movies. I know the Sonic movies coming out, uh, and and everything like that. I'm gonna re make a review on that when it comes out. But I wanted to make a review on some of these animated movies, right? So I got Garfield. I, I'm actually excited for it. I'm actually excited for it. Uh, that and Sonic. We got Despicable Me. Uh, I should have I seen if it was four or five. I, I don't remember how many there is. I know Inside Out too. And as we can see, Kong Fu Panda 4. I'm going to try and keep this non-spoiler, non-spoilers. I'm, I'm going to try and keep it like that because... <laughs> Whew, I got a lot to say about this movie. I really do. Oh my goodness. Because I just watched it. Just watched it yesterday. And... <sighs> Let's get to it, bro. Let's get to it. Let's... Let me try... Let me... Let me first start off this movie by saying... Kung Fu Panda. Trilogy. Trilogy. First one. Amazing. Second one, my personal favorite, I think is the best one. Uh, Shin as a villain is is one of the of my favorite villains. I think I kind of like him more than Tai Long, honestly. I think I like him more than Tai Long. Uh, third, I think third is definitely the weakest. But still, like S tier, you know how like you know you're the you know you're on top of something when you third one is like the least best. But like it's still like S tier, you know that that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Huh, let's fourth one, fourth one. So the fourth one follows Poe trying to find a new Dragon Warrior. That's basically the whole concept of the entire movie. Kind of, it's, it's kind of in a way because it's kind, it's like the main focus is Poe trying to find a new Dragon Warrior, while also. Trying to find, find, uh, find the chameleon. He's trying to find the chameleon and also uh, find a new dragon warrior. So he finds this. Uh, uh, what, what's the what's what's the uh, new character? Zen. I can't like some of these. Some of this, I, I, I'm really bad with names, so I'm not. I, it's the fox. It's the fox. Basically, he finds the fox, and and so forth, and they go they go on a travel. I think th was. I'm gonna say some positives. I'm gonna say some negatives about the movie. Some positives I gotta say is this gotta be probably the best animated fighting scenes I've ever seen in a movie of Kung Fu Panda. Honestly, I thought the fighting scenes were kind of killer. Hold up, they were uh uh the the fighting scenes with Poe teaming up with Zen and and then just. The final fights and, and stuff like that. I thought those fights were really, really clean. But I think the thing is about Kung Fu Panda is the fights are always going to be fire. But this one, they kind of, they kind of like really kicked it up. They, I, they actually really, really kicked it up. Um, I actually like the side kind of quest with the with Pose on the, uh, that. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Um. I kind of, it's kind of crazy too, cause I walked out of that and I was like, "This movie's not as funny as it should be." But at the same time, has Kung Fu Panda really ever been funny? You know? And I don't really know. I don't really know. But this is definitely, definitely a movie that I would say. My fault, my fault. I had, <laughs> had some gum. This is definitely a movie I would definitely say is like... It's like a good watch in some time. Like, I would recommend it, but if you're... I would really only recommend it if you want to see new things. Because that's my thing about this movie. Some negatives. <sighs> And it's hard to criticize this movie because it's like, it's one of my favorite franchise movies. Like, the first three are so good. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say what I gotta say. Uh, yeah, the new faces. Not 
as interesting as I, as I thought, it, thought it was going to be. Honestly, it really feels like it's literally just Poe and the new, uh, the new character slash Dragon Warrior in a way. And I don't mind that to some degree, but it's like... Show some other thing. The chameleon, I actually was like, me and my friend was literally just talking about this when we watched the movie. What was the purpose of her being a villain? <laughs> like, I'm sure, like, I kind of get it to get the powers of the character, of the of the old uh, villains and, and old people that fight that Poe fought. Kind, I kind of was a spoiler too, in a way. <laughs> but she didn't. I think this is the and I think this is the first villain Poe was actually went after instead of them going after Poe. Uh, yeah, they don't really show all the. They don't even show really the old characters either. Yeah, they don't really show any of the old characters. I would say just like if you're gonna watch this movie, get get ready to like not really see the old characters. Really, just get ready to just see a lot of combat. Not really crazy writing, not really crazy dialogue. But I think I think my main main issue with the movie for me personally is it just lacks in a lot of areas where I love Kung Fu Panda not just for their combat but it's for their story, writing and everything. And I thought the writing was so iffy a lot of times, like a lot to, and that's probably just a a low thing of saying it because it, I could say it's garbage but I, I it was it was just so lacking in that type of area and they they all to me Kung Fu always has one of those life lessons type of type beat where it's like first one like you believe in yourself second one and like like they they always have some life type message and this one I feel like they tried to they didn't they they didn't try and also it's like even when they tried to it was like forced in a way like I don't even know what to, like I don't even know what to say bro I don't even know what to say I'm really trying not to like spoil it too so that's why I'm trying to like not really say a lot of things about the movie because I know it just came out just came out uh, Friday I believe so it's only it's, it's only for like five days or something and I think another thing is the fact that I did not really mess with the new character until like the very end. And another thing is the movie's too predictable. I didn't believe it was going. I, I, I'm watching this movie and I'm like, okay, when, when is it going? When is something going to happen? When is something going to like like? Kung Fu Panda's too, I guess you could say predictable in a way, but like, I'm always excited for like, whatever they're gonna say, for, say, fight, or anything. No, none of that happened. None of that happened. And, that's just a disappointment in my, and like, I don't know if I was just expecting too much or expecting nothing, like, like, I don't, I don't even know, bro. I do like, uh, how Poe is in the entire movie. Shout out Jack Black did a did a great job as Poe again. Just 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 go to character. Um, that the new Fox Fox Girl Zen was actually not that as bad as I thought she was going to be. Because at first I thought it was just going to be like a eh type of character, but I she got better as as the movie was going on. I don't know. I just I just feel like when it comes to Kung Fu Panda Four. They do all the old characters wrong, while the new characters, they don't really do right either. But the combat is really great, the fighting is great. Uh, so if you told me to rate, rate it... <sighs> I'll give it like a 6.5, 6.5. It's... It's no bad movie. I, one thing I want to say is it's not a bad movie. But it's one of those. It's definitely the weakest of the Call of Duty series. It's definitely the weakest. But I just wish like the writing was a little bit better. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the last 
scene, those last, the, 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 the scene at the very end with all the villains showing up and everything, bro, like, like, I actually do want to say, I'm going to say minor spoiler, this is, this is just a little spoiler I'm about to say, like, like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, it's actually funny, it's actually funny, because she kind of betrays Poe at the and then joins Poe at the very end. It's like she's a criminal. Why? How did we? How did we not expect that? You know, like that's that's just the, that's the only spoiler I'm gonna say. Like, how does she? How do we not ex expect that? She's a criminal. You and you put, go put you go put all your trust into her, bro. Like that makes no sense. That makes no sense. But she she did help help Poe at the very end and anyway. And like it's just. It's a very, it's a good movie that I definitely recommend if you like, just love Kung Fu Panda for their combat, love, love it for them, just most simple things, you know, most simple things. But I didn't really like Kung Fu Panda just for that. I loved it for their writing too, and us to see it, it was kind of weak. It's tough. It's tough. But yeah, when other movies come out this year, I will be doing a review for every single animated movie. Actually, I can't say every single animated movie. Every movie that I, that I know I'm going to watch. I don't know. There might be some more animated movies I'm, to watch. Not even just animated. Like, just movies in general. Because, hey, I do plan on... I haven't watched Detective Pikachu yet. I will make a reaction on that soon. Soon. I don't know when, but it's going to be on, on my channel soon. Soon. But yeah, let me know if y'all want me to do some more reviews on other, other shows or other movies or any like anything, honestly. But yeah, Kung Fu Panda 4. Alright. Pretty alright. Pretty alright. Uh, so yeah. I, I, uh, uh, next movie up, I believe, might be Garfield. I'm, I'm excited for that movie, bro. I'm excited for that. Hopefully, Chris Pratt does a good job with Garfield. I've been seeing the trailers. It's been looking fire. Odie and Garfield looking fire, as usual. And yeah, let the year of, of crazy movies continue. SP3 is out. Y'all enjoy y'all week. Peace.